A wave of children in South Sudan flock schools with the hope of attaining their dreams. Education for girls remains one of the fragile ventures surrounded with a number of challenges. Girls with bigger dreams have to dodge a number of vices that would ruin their dreams. Even my parents they always told me that since they were young, their parents they did not allow them to go to school, especially ladies, especially my mom. But nowadays we come with nice culture and everything was developed. They allowed us to go to school and we focus. We have friends, we come and learn. When we are like we feel like we, in our dreams, so many people with especially me I feel to be like a doctor and I want to be a doctor physically. Once a girl has her first period, you find you ask in the class, hey, where's her book? Where's her Luen? Hey, where's her Sarah? Oh, she, she got married. Teachers in schools battling to shape morals of children with constructive lessons are also forced to take extra responsibilities of building confidence in a girl child. Guiding children with religious education is said to impact one positive aspect of life in attaining a better future. Uh, this country has come from far and to find most of the learners are aggressive and we can't blame them. This is because there's no one back at home to lay that foundation. So as we teach this subject, we are also transforming them spiritually. We are also teaching them how to behave well, how to adhere to the morals accepted in the society. As the country battles to drive off negativity in education, girls in school are said to be faced with a double weight of challenges at school. So the challenge we face for these girls to be in school is Santar Towers. Some are willing to be in school but you find when a girl is in that mood, they feel ashamed. They feel uncomfortable. They don't want to be in the class because already their senses are out. Again, the point, uh, given uh, even the presence of the boys. So whenever they're in their periods, you find some even uh, staying at home for one week for the periods to get over for them to come. Many of these girls with bigger dreams are unable to afford basic necessities like center pads. Some are said to be taking long hours without something to eat beside management of their menstrual circle that has seen higher rates dropping out of school. The first challenge is the center towers. I have over 500 learners, girls who are menstruating. These are my records. This is the book for their lives. So every time uh, this uh, uh, period come when they are at school or when they are in class, we've uh, planned on getting some straps, as you can see. These are the straps we normally cut. Yeah, lunch time time. My parents give me 500 for lunch. I eat, but you know, 500 is very useless nowadays. You cannot do anything. <laughs> you just take tea for 200 and then mandasa for 300, finish. And you still need more. As the number of female teachers like these stay small in schools, girls are always left with menstrual circle stigma, forcing number to skip classes during this time of the months where their circles strike. 